Pipers. Oh, piano's not working. <laughs> there it is. Can you hear it? There it is. There it is. It's a lazy Monday morning. Even my piano didn't want to work. I bet it's tired. Are you tired, piano? I think it is. Busy weekend. I hope you had a great Easter. I hope the Easter Bunny was good to you. Did you get any jelly beans? My favorite are orange. Those are my favorite. What are your favorite? And any chocolate? Did you find those eggs? Oh boy, I had a great weekend too. And now we're back at school with another holiday. This holiday's called Passover. Passover. Pesha. It's a Hebrew word for Passover. We're going to be learning all about Passover. I love the Passover story. There's always a mean king. This one's called Pharaoh. Yeah, he's a mean king, definitely. And a hero. Our hero's name is Moses. Oh, boy, I'm going to be telling you that story this week at Pipe Piper School. How cool. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. That Pharaoh was so mean, they couldn't stand him. Let my people go, they want to go. Go down with Moses, way into the promised land. So they told that mean old Pharaoh, show me that mean old Pharaoh, to let my people go. They said, let my people go. Oh, but the Pharaoh didn't want to listen. No, he liked all that free labor to build those tall pyramids. He didn't want to let them go. They were slaves. So the Lord told Moses what he should do to let my people go. He said, you lead those children of Israel through. Let my people go. They want to go way down with Moses. Way down to the promised land. So they told that mean old Pharaoh to let my people go. They said, let my people go, let those Jewish people go. Oh, but no, the Pharaoh didn't want to. So somebody got angry and sent out ten terrible plagues. A plague, a plague! Terrible things happen. A plague, a plague! Ten of them. And all the Egyptians had terrible things happen, but not the Jewish people. It passed over. So the Lord sent fire, filth and disease, to let my people go. He even sent some killer fleas. Let my people go. We want to go way down with Moses. Wait until the promised land. Tell the mean old Pharaoh to let my people go. He said, let my people go. Well, it took ten plagues. Terrible things happened to all those Egyptian people, but not the Jewish people. Finally, the Pharaoh let him go. But they had to leave so quickly, they couldn't even grab anything. And their bread couldn't rise. That's why they eat flat matzahs for Passover. And when they reached the other shore, let my people go. They sang a song of triumph. Oh, let my people go, because they went way down with Moses, way into the promised land. They told that mean old Pharaoh to let my people go. They said, let my people go. And finally, he let the Jewish people go. The story of Passover this week at Piper. And we're going to be talking about the Seder dish. You're going to see this Seder dish a lot in all the classrooms. We have different versions of our Seder dish. It's a circle dish. And each of these circles tell a story, part of the story of Passover. And our Jewish friends have two nights for the Seder, Seder dinner, where they look at the Seder plate and they tell the story. Let's find out what's on that Seder plate. Oh, I'm wearing one too. We're going to clap, slap, clap, clap, slap, clap, clap. Come on, get it going. You can do it. We're going to slap, clap, clap, slap, clap, clap. Here we go. What's on the Seder dish, Seder dish, Seder dish? What's on the Seder dish at Passover time? What's on the Seder dish, Seder dish? looks like an egg. We just had Easter eggs. This is the egg they use on the Seder. It's called Beitza. Beitza in Hebrew. Beitza. And that's the egg 
that means when they got to the other side, there were brand new things happening, new and exciting things happening when they finally left Egypt. Show me the egg. Egg, 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 egg on my cedar dish. Yes, that is true. Put an egg, put an egg, egg. If you want good cedar, add one or two. Slap it. What's on a cedar dish? Cedar dish. I can't hear you. What's on a cedar dish? That's over time. What's on a cedar dish? circle. This is the parsley. Carpas. Carpas. Parsley. Now they dip that in salty water to remind them of the tears that the Jewish people had when they were making those pyramids out of clay and building them tall for that mean pharaoh. That's the parsley. 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 Parsley on my cedar dish. Yes, that is true. Put some parsley. Put parsley. If you want good cedar at one, or to sing it, what's on a Seder dish, Seder, Seder dish, what's on a Seder dish, you pass over time, what's on a Seder dish, Seder dish, Seder dish, what's on a Seder dish, pass over time. All right, let's see, the egg, the parsley, we'll keep going around that circle. Oh, this is the lettuce, Shazeret. The lettuce, the lettuce, but it's not like the lettuce that you eat that's nice and sweet and delicious. This is bitter lettuce, bitter lettuce. Does not taste good, just like their life in Egypt was not good. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce on my cedar dish. Yes, that is true, put some lettuce, some lettuce. Now if you want good cedar, add one or two. Sing it, what's on the cedar dish, cedar dish, cedar dish. What's on the cedar dish, I passed over time. What's on the cedar Seder dish, Seder. What's on the Seder dish? You pass over time. All right, we got the parsley, the lettuce, the egg. Oh, here we go. This is the bitter herbs. Bitter herbs. That's for the, the yucky stuff in Egypt, too. That's maror. Maror. More bitter things. Bitter things. And then we have the harosat. Say harosat. Harosat. That you mix all kinds of things together. Grape juice and apple and some nuts. And it, you mix it together just like the Jewish slaves mix together the straw and the mud and the dirt to make the blocks that built the periods. Harosat. 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 Harosat on my sacred dish. Yes, that is true. But harosat. Harosat. If you want good sacred and one or two, do it. What's on a Seder dish, Seder dish, Seder? What's on a Seder dish? You pass over time. What's on a Seder dish, Seder dish, Seder? What's on a Seder dish? You pass over time. Okay, here we are. Ooh, the bone, Zeroa, Zeroa, the bone, the bone. They work to the bone over there. The bone, the bone. Bone on the Seder dish, yes, that is true. Put the bone, the bone. If you want good Seder, add one or two. Sing it. What's on the Seder dish, Seder, Seder dish? What's on the Seder dish? Pass over time. What's on the Seder dish, Seder dish, Seder dish? What's on the Seder dish? Pass over time. And the last thing is the matzahs, the flat bread. It didn't have time to rise up and get real fluffy. It's a flatbread like a cracker, a matzah. Matzah, the matzah, matzah on my cedar dish. Yes, that is true, but matzah, but the matzah. If you want good cedar, add one or two. Here we go. What's on the cedar dish, cedar dish, cedar dish? What's on the cedar dish? Pass over time. What's on the cedar dish, cedar dish, cedar? What's on the cedar dish? Pass over time. Matzah cake, my favorite with Colette. All kinds of fun Passover projects this week. I'm so excited. Are the birds awake? Oh, they're not awake this morning. It's kind of rainy out. Come on, birds. We're singing the bird song. Pretty bird, you're flying so high in the sky. Uh, uh, uh. Pretty bird, won't you wave as you go by? Sing it, pretty bird. You're so
school. Go find another video that you'd like to watch for your Monday morning. <laughs> 